So recently I uploaded a video on cheating in sim racing esports, primarily in F1 esports. And since then, I've reached out to probably one of the most famous, most well-known drivers and one of the quickest drivers from the F1 esports series, two-time F1 esports champion, Yano Omir. Yeah. In this upcoming video, Yano gives us a really awesome insight into F1 esports and the cheating problem that is currently plaguing league racing and perhaps even spilling into the main competition itself. Before we get into it, I want to say a massive thank you to Yano for agreeing to jump on this call with me. I also give him some props for actually speaking about this because it seems at the moment there's a lot of hush hush going on in the F1 community regarding cheating. So yeah, big respect to Yano for agreeing to jump on the call. Cool, so ladies and gentlemen, I am joined by the one and only Yano Opme. Yano, mate, it's great to have a chance to chat to you. How are you doing today, man? I'm good, yeah, not too bad. Um... I'm enjoying my F1 esports off season by uh, doing some uh, eye racing and some other stuff on the side. So yeah, getting involved with uh, interviews with really cool guys like myself. Obviously, you know that's a, that's a highlight. Yeah, that's up there. Yeah, yeah, that's by far my <laughs> favorite. Um, for those who maybe don't know who you are, um, could you just very briefly just introduce yourself? Yeah, so basically, I do pretend race car for a living <laughs> uh, in F1 esports. I also do uh, YouTube on the side, and yeah, this uh, this Jimmy Broadland guy wanted you wanted me on WRC once. <laughs> yeah, once. <laughs> no, 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 it was once, never again. I've learned, <laughs> I've learned my lesson. I mean, uh, of course, you know, I think being um, a little bit humble, um, F1 esports champion in 20 and 21, I think it is, with Alpha, yeah. Alpha and Merc respectively. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And then you're still with Mercedes now, I think. Yeah. 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 Okay, so big business, um, but I think we should get straight into it because um, the reason why we got in contact in the first place is I sort of reached out to you on Twitter and said, dude, we should talk about all this cheating stuff going on in F1 esports because there's a lot of information uh, out there at the moment. I'm not sure all of it is particularly accurate, to be honest, and sort of wading through all of it has been a bit of a challenge so far. Um, so I'm going to ask you straight out first of all do you think the f1 esports has a problem with cheating at the moment um yes i mean even if um if there is no one cheating then there is going to be a risk of it in the future of course because the f1 game doesn't really have an anti-cheat at all so um as i think a lot of you have seen it's so easy to cheat on the f1 game um and of course if there's almost one million dollar prize money on the line, then people are going to risk it um, to to try and get in there and cheat. So yeah, it, it definitely has a problem. Um, I hope they're fixing it for at least the next game. Um, but yeah, I think it's been an issue in the past few years games as well on, on the time trial leaderboards. There were always um, at least 10 on there uh, that were cheating and very obviously going 10 seconds per lap faster. But um, of course, if a good driver cheats, and uh, there's so many things you can cheat with, of course, um, in racing games, then it's going to be a lot harder to catch it. So, so based on that, you kind of said that this has been around for a, a while now. How, how long do you think this ability to cheat in these games at a high level has, has been available? Because it's only really come to light really this year um, with more and more people sort of going a bit too far, getting greedy and getting caught, but it's been going on for a long time, you say? Yeah, I mean, you can just go on the times round leaderboards and you can straight away see on the past games that there's always someone um, going five seconds, two seconds, one second per lap faster than uh, the top guys. So then, yeah, it shows that it is easy to cheat. Uh, many times, some uh, lap times got deleted um, because it was too obvious they were cheating, but there was no detection in place for um, by the game to see that someone was cheating. It was just uh, that those people that were cheating made it too obvious. And yeah, that's uh, I think not the right way of obviously uh, catching someone because it needs to be hard proven uh, evidence and not mm. just by by the eye. Um, so yeah. That's good, yeah. That's, uh, if you you're not suggest if you're going to cheat, you have to cheat subtly all right <laughs> no i'm, I'm joking <laughs> pretty <laughs> much um yeah uh, don't get greedy with it so um i mean there's been a several kind of i guess high level players that have recently had a little bit of questioning around them 
Um, I want to get into the most recent one, is Alvaro Caraton. Um, on his stream the other day, had, of course, the... Uh, and I, I covered it in the video. Um, sort of a bit of an oopsie moment where he revealed that he had... Um, it almost seemed comical, you know, like the, the the thing is called like F1 Grip Pack or whatever it is. You know, it seems like it's almost like a joke. Um, but he then came out after that saying that this is actually part of a collaboration with like EA and Codemasters to try and work out how this stuff works. Um, do you have any insight on that at all? Because from the outside perspective, he, he looks pretty guilty. You know what I mean? He, he looks like he's um, pretty upset on the camera. And then I think he deleted the stream afterwards. Do you have any, any more insight on that at all? Or? Yeah, I think a lot of drivers knew that he was testing uh, that stuff, um, and yeah, that he, I think EA or EA Cody's um, wanted a good driver to test test it, of course, because it's very hard to find a top driver that is not doing some kind of esports. Um, and of course, I think a lot of drivers and teams just didn't want their teams and drivers to be involved in testing something like that for that exact reason um so yeah we knew he was he was testing it uh he wasn't using it during psl um if he was then he was doing it very poorly because uh <laughs> i think <laughs> no but like uh alvaro was much faster on fast games i think uh, he didn't like this f122 game just like many others um but yeah of course it is uh it, it, it needed to be tested uh, i think so um it was just very unfortunate that he got uh, um, kind of caught on stream mm. uh, having that folder open, I think so. Um, but yeah, if, if he did use it in competition, then I'm quite sure he would have been, uh, he would have been banned, for sure. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a very sensitive time at the moment, and I think having that pop up on, on, uh, on stream is probably the worst thing possible that could happen. Um, it also, like, from, from, from memory of the clip, it showed as if he had highlighted the sort of EXE recently, so... Um, yeah, it's one of those things where I think it would have been very nice to have some some sort of uh, confirmation from either Codemasters or, or EA. Because from what I understand, and that this might exist, but I haven't seen it as of yet, they've not really sort of confirmed that he was doing that. And I feel as if you were doing a doing a favor, you know, for the for the organizers here and testing these things out, then at least they could back you up. But that doesn't seem to have happened yet. Yeah, um, I'm not sure why. Uh, exactly. A um, bit confusing so why they didn't come out and um, support him in that, but um, I, I wouldn't know with what uh, social media account they would do that as well, because uh, yeah, I don't think they can admit or they want to admit that it's that easy to cheat as well, of course, on the F1 game. Um, but I do think that this year and last year it's kind of awakened um, everyone working in the one game that's anti-cheat is probably the, num the number one priority because there's not going to be a competitive scene left uh, if this is not fixed by the next game, basically. So, yeah, I, I do hope they at least they have awakened that something needs to happen for the next game. Um, because, yeah, otherwise I think there's not much point in doing league racing um, esports anymore, pretty much. <laughs> I definitely want to talk to you more about that because I'm, I, you've been quite outspoken on uh, on Twitter about sort of your views and how uh, the, the cheating is ruining the, the league scene. But um, before we get into that, um, I wanted to sort of go back to the point with uh, Codemasters and EA. So they are, I think, so it would be fair to say they are very much aware there is quite a big problem. Would you say um, so? Or? Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, there's been too much uh, negativity around uh f1 esports and uh f1 i think in the past few months and i think it's also kind of down to me of course um mm. because i i'm very outspoken about it um, but i think there needs to be some kind of public pressure on this because um otherwise they just shove it under the carpet and nothing gets done and they will just uh, basically allow people to get away with it um so yeah it's also i think on the short term, it might hurt F1 Esports a lot, but I think it's needed for the long term uh, in F1 Esports because uh, otherwise, if one person gets caught in cheating and that's all it takes for uh, F1 uh, Esports to kind of collapse, then I think it would have not lasted very long anyway. Do you think F1 themselves are also sort of aware of this problem or is it something that's sort of being kept quiet? 
Uh, I think everyone is very much aware mm. um, that this is a problem that they want fixed. Um, I think it's also a shame that we haven't had LAN, of course, uh, last yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. So it is very much possible um, again. And that would help with it, of course, but I think it would still be good to have uh, a lot of systems in place that just to make 100% sure uh, it's not possible to cheat because I think in other esports like CSGO, people have tried to cheat as well um, in LAN. I think Dota esports, people tried it. Um, of course, anything with high price money, people are going to take a uh, big risk yeah, to, of course. Uh, to cheat. So. I say, um, so speaking of sort of LAN events, um, I saw a conversation. I'll try and find it for the sake of my editor. I saw a, a disco conversation involving uh, Thomas Ronha. Um, basically, it was people saying, you know, we'll, 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 we'll see how good you are once we get to the LAN events. Um, so, Thomas Ronha, if you guys are not familiar, is someone who's faced quite a few allegations recently for cheating. Um, and I want to pick you up actually on, I think it was a stream you did recently, Yano. Um, it's a clip that's been around quite a bit. <laughs> I think I've also showed it as well. Um, of you getting pretty pretty frustrated at the end of a, uh, a race at Barcelona. Uh, was, that, was that PSGL, that one? Um, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, PSGL, was that, yeah. Yes, that was um, uh, a sort of high-end league race. Um, obviously, from our perspective, it sort of seems like you want to say something about what's going on with with Thomas Ronhar in front. Um, can you shed any more light on that as to sort of what you were, uh, I guess, thinking in the, in that time? Um, yeah, uh, I'm not sure how much I can say about this. Sure, but um, yeah, I think it it speaks for itself, right? Uh, it doesn't take a genius to uh, to uh, unravel what I was one thing to say um of course need to be careful as well because there's no uh, as i said hard evidence which is very tough to get when mm. um there could be like ram cheats uh involved and there's no anti-cheat as well so um yeah i think in the end of the day we just have to be patient right um if if he is that good then we will see it next year in lan at least uh, i assume there will be lan in f1 esports at least um because i don't think we can drive online anymore <laughs> like this so um yeah i think it's it's very simple we'll see it when um when we get to f1 esports again this year and i assume there will be anti-cheat for the f1 game um and on lan if he's still that fast one tenth one half tenth ahead of everyone then we'll see it right um so i'm not yeah not too uh, too hurt about it um if he is that good then I'm sure he's going to win many, many uh, eSports titles. So simple as that. Yeah, I think a fairly diplomatic answer, you know, uh, which is see that you're, you're well trained, mate. You can tell you were a racing driver for, <laughs> for, for a while. Um, <laughs> the, the other thing I wanted to say on that, I, I, I won't press you too hard, but, um, you know, there are other, it isn't just you who has sort of had these, I guess, um, these frustrations with uh with thomas ronha i mean I've, I've seen clips of him setting fastest laps and other drivers laughing at them and going <laughs> like okay whatever you know um sort of just say like that that time is not possible um at the moment so um yeah i'll be interested to see what happens but uh, I, again just for the benefit of the the audience now you know we, we very much i mean i don't know about you yano but i'm very much an innocent until proven guilty sort of guy you know and uh, as you say no hard evidence yet but it's uh, it's not looking not looking great. I think is the uh, takeaway from that. Um, yeah, um, I, th I think it's just you know if there are so many Japanese for drivers that see the same as me, um, many that also um, finished ahead in the standings. So yeah, of course I've been not outspoken because I don't want to um, make allegations without. Uh, having like the hard proven evidence, which is just not possible at the moment because there's no systems in place to um, catch anyone cheating. But yeah, I mean, if there are 25 other drivers that think the same, then I think uh, there needs to be something done. And yeah, as I said, I hope they are doing something um, because otherwise we uh, we're gonna have no F1 esports left. <laughs> How? How easy is it for that? Let's say, for example, I think, you know what, listen, I'm F1 esports material, and anyone who's ever seen me drive will know that isn't the case. <laughs> um, and I go, yeah, I'm, I'm going to get involved and I'm going to cheat. How easy is it for me, as someone completely outside the community, to go and basically enter a race with these cheats applied? 
Um, I, there's so many, of course, so that makes it very hard to figure out as well uh, how to catch someone because if they're all using a different way or loopholes, um, of course, I'm not I'm not an expert in this field. Mm. Um, but as far as I understand, um, RAM cheats are basically impossible to catch unless you got like a crazy good anti-cheat. I think Valorant has a really good anti-cheat. I'm not I'm not sure if that's the truth, but uh, I've read some things online. Um, but yeah, I think it would honestly take you not more than half an hour to figure out um, or to find one on the internet somewhere. Um, not sure if I should say that, but um, that's the truth, so yeah. No, I, I, I think it's good to say that. I think it's good to show how easy it is to, to get involved in this stuff, because you know, uh, as you've said online, this is only ever going to affect things in a negative light, and if there's nothing to stop it, then it's just going to continue. Um, I think the that re that leads really nicely onto my kind of next question and my next chain of uh, conversation here is that you know we have F1 2023 being sort of teased already. Um, what can be done to fix this? How is this fixable? Um, is there anything easy that you think is uh, sort of being missed, or is it a wider problem? Um... I think it is very much a wider problem because uh, I recently saw one on ACC uh, that someone mm. admitted and got caught um, cheating, and it was the same scenario where it was it took some pro drivers to watch his onboard to see that he was cheating, and then later he admitted himself. But otherwise, if he had denied it, he would have not been caught, um, and he would have just been able to go on and yeah do. Um, esports races on Assetto Corsa Competizione. Um, and yeah, I think the scary part is when good drivers cheat, then it's going to yeah. be very hard to catch. Um, and a lot of people that have been caught have been using stuff like uh, grip hacks or more mechanical grip. I think you could basically do anything. Um, if you can add it at the grip level, you can also add on arrow. Um, but also stuff like tire wear, fuel consumption, ERS regeneration you name it, you can just um, all add that by 0.01%. Um, and then, yeah, you would, you would never be able to get caught if a good driver cheats by such little margins, 0.001%. You're probably not going to win every race, but you're going to have an advantage for sure. Yeah, I mean, I think that's the thing, isn't it? Is that if you cheat subtly enough, no one's really going to know you're doing it. And uh, just to quickly go back to what you were saying about the ACC driver, because uh, I've got to give some credit to me and the, or I say me, the boys at uh, Sim Racing uh, GP, the eSport guys. Um, if you don't know who I know, I mean, I've, I've got a bit of a, a stake in SGP. And uh, the reason why um, it was a ACC player, he, he was caught, is because he basically failed to provide his MoTeC. We have no anti-cheat in in place there's nothing there that we can use because acc doesn't have one but so we do it manually and um it it took us doing that an organization separate of the game to look at it for it to actually be even looked at at all it's the same thing in acc it's um yeah it, it, it's it's pretty challenging <laughs> I, I think um yeah yeah i think even if you would have provided smotech if it's only gonna be like one two kph difference everywhere then it's not uh yeah you've got to know what you're looking for you know yeah yeah exactly and then still it's going to be such tiny margins i think um big difference will be minimum speed and traction i think where the guy gained um if i just looked at the onboard real quick from the set of course i competition on the one and yeah but then still if, if he would be cheating with tire wear you would already gain that during your qualifying lap same for fuel consumption of course um you you would gain such little amounts, but when uh, enough on esports, uh, this is very much the case. I think in AC a little bit less. Uh, if you gain a tenth of a lap, that's crazy. Um, it's going to put you so much further up the grid. Yeah, I think sometimes people forget the margins in F1 or any esports competition uh, is uh, tiny compared to kind of real life because everyone's pretty much got the same car. You know, and it's just down to the uh, the driver extracting the most out of it. Um, I think that. Um, it's, this, this is a good place to kind of ask you, Yarno. Um, what would you like to see in in the future here? I mean, you are, I think it's fair to say, one of the most famous esports drivers in the world and uh, one of the more popular and more outspoken. Uh, what would you say, uh, what would you like to see in the future to, to, to combat this? Is there anything 
that you you can think of right now? Um, well, first of all, anti cheat on the game would be a good start. Um, I think we need a very high level anti cheat um, because of how how many different ways there are to cheat and with how little you can cheat in sim racing. I think there's not really any esports out there that um, can cheat in such little ways. Um, like with the tire and stuff, I think when you use aimbot, then that's a very strong cheat. Um, but there's, I think, too many little things that could be uh, changed uh, when cheating. Um, so anti-cheat would be a good start. Um, LAN events, of course, uh, is very much needed. Um, no own PCs from teams um, allowed on LAN events, of course. Um, and I think that just needs to be almost like surveillance on the PCs like 24-7 um, on, on the LAN events because I think otherwise you could very easily plug a USB in real quick um, and yeah install whatever you need to so um, yeah there needs to be crazy good uh, surveillance uh, on LAN events still uh, I think there needs to be just needs to be a camera on every team 24-7 uh, to make sure um, they're pretty much not doing any sketchy stuff okay yeah that's uh i think that stuff is in place anyway especially at the uh the live events but i guess as you say it's, it's been a while since that's happened um i'll end off with a juicy question i like a juicy question and you haven't got to name anybody um or anything like that are there high level players at the moment who you are fairly sure are cheating but have at the moment not come to light at all no one really knows about it at the moment um not come to light at all. Uh, I, I don't think so. No. Okay. Good. In in F1 esports at least, I, of course, it's very hard to say on other sims because I'm not as good on those. Obviously, um, I think you need to be the highest of the highest level to to see it. So, yeah. <laughs> That's why I asked you, mate. I've got no idea. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, <laughs> Rosen, it's great. Well, um, uh, Jano, mate, thank you so much for taking the time to speak to me. And I'm hoping that this will, you know, maybe light a fire underneath Codemasters F1 uh, EA just to let them know people care about this quite a lot and something needs to be done. So um, is there anything you want to say before we, uh, we end off, mate? Um, no, not really. Um, yeah. Um, when another WC 1v1. <laughs> <laughs> We can, we can do F122 as well. Right. I, I, I do. Can we do something that isn't like... Okay, what, what, no, we'll do BMG. I'm going to find BMG scenario and I'm going to beat you in that. Okay, done. We'll race us, we'll race us off the hill the fastest. <laughs> yeah, who crashes first. But, uh, Jana, mate, thank you so much, dude. And, uh, yeah, good luck uh, in next season. Yeah, thank you very much. So that was a very interesting discussion there with Jana about his thoughts on cheating in F1 Esports. It seems clear to me that the onus now is very much on Codemasters EA F1 themselves to stamp this problem out. Yano and I share the opinion that if this is not addressed properly at some point, then it's only going to damage F1 Esports, which would be a real shame because I know it's not everyone's cup of tea. I know not all the hardcore sim racers are maybe convinced by it. But having an esports competition run and officially licensed by Formula One should be a dream for anyone in the sim racing community. And to be honest, I'd like to see it last for as long as possible. But that's it from me and Yano. Take care, have an awesome day. See you next time.